And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Victor. It's Karma Spotlight Night. We got our second Karma deck. Didn't draw very many Karmas in our first deck. Hopefully that's going to change here with our second deck. We're now going to be heading on over to Piltover and Zon for our um, secondary region to go along with Ionia. And we have Victor is going to be our other champion. The way that Victor and Karma can work really well together is that whenever you have a leveled up Karma, as you know, you get to cast your spells again on the same targets whenever you play a spell. And so that could be uh, mean, meaning that your Victor makes a hex core upgrade, but if you have your leveled up Karma, now it makes two hex core upgrades each round. You get two keywords on Victor each round, double augment, all that kind of stuff. Really cool stuff. So that like that's going to be our late game um, if we can get to it. That should be really cool. You know, we'll be able to double up like the Ballistic Bot Ignitions also. And so that will honestly kind of kill people pretty fast if you're casting two Ignitions around for one mana. Um, and so you can see like this is this deck is built or it's based on the Ionia Victor deck that we've been playing recently to some good success with Karma as the other champion to go along with Victor. I'm going to be playing Shadow Assassins in here. Um, just, you know, another way to get some extra card draw. And I think Shadow Assassin could work well with Homecoming. Uh, so I want to get some of those in there. Uh, then our early removal, you know, Mystic Shot, Death Ray, Thermogenic Beam. Basically the same kind of package as the other deck. Whimsy is awesome against all these dragon decks that are running around. That are playing a bunch of Screeching Dragons and Eclipse Dragons. Um, Whimsy can do great against them. But then also all the other Targon decks. Which can be dragon decks, but just other Targon decks with their big Celestials. Um, you know, you can take a, a huge elusive celestial and make it a 1-1 and that works great with death ray and mystic shot and stuff like that all right so let's go ahead and give this a try we're going to try karma victor we'll go play five games in ranked we got another new board there were two new boards that just came out matchmaking has failed All right, prediction started. Sparky, we we are doing good. I mean, we are playing some, um, playing some karma today. Okay, Timo Ezreal, Sejuani. So, um, puff caps are going to be a problem, right? Because we're a super long deck, also. So we want to try to avoid puff caps. Getting acquiring, getting acquiring puff caps, all that kind of stuff. Nopify is going to go. That's going to go, um, I guess Deep Meditation going to go also. So I'm glad we have the attack token round one so they can't just play a Teemo and attack me immediately. But not So not only Teemo, but then also um, Teemo's follower. Um, yeah, I just got to hope they don't... Gotta hope they don't have Elixir of Iron or Troll Chant, and this works. They waited till round two to play the Teemo, and that's why. Smart. So this is how we could lose the game, is, is if they have the Puff Caps. The, cannot hide. That's the nightmare. Candle scouts are never afraid. There they go. All right, well, good hand opponent. I think that's the best possible hand. Teemo, Puff Cat Peddler, and two one mana interaction spells. Yep, I think that's the best possible Whoa. hand. GG's. Face me. Would a mushroom help?
trying to kill this peddler. Oh my gosh. Their hand was incredible. Okay, so this board doesn't have comets. Is it the same music as the other one? I think it was, right? So this one doesn't have comets, and you get to choose your own guardian. We got Rainbow Ellie. Alright, well that's the best possible hand you can have against me. Like, just for that matchup. That game, that game's very over for how long it takes our deck to win and then doubling the puff caps and I can't even answer the other things right there. Like, that game's very over. We're drawing two cards a turn. Cancel. All right, I gotta do the predictions. Where's Hope's End? It's okay, Spark. You'll get him back. I'm sorry. They just had the best possible hand. You'll get your points back, though. Alright, Draven Ezreal. Gone, gone. Deny is amazing against the uh, Tribeam and Probulator, and so I could just keep it for Tribeam and Probulator. I kind of want to. I, that's a long ways away. We have three Denies in here, right? That is the correct number of Denies to play. All right, we'll get rid of you for now. Hopefully find another one. All right, forgot to update the deckless command. I realized that. So there we go. Up deckless command updated now. We each hold a world so they're going to use a, a removal spell. Okay, I was going to say I would rather them use the removal spell on the Eye of the Dragon than on the Ballistic Bond. So I wanted to give them that opportunity. I have the best job. Humanity is obsolete. Draven down. This is the upgrade. Even Probulator is so good. Yeah, I get you. You got me. Yeah, so they're going to be sped up every single round with that extra mana gem, which is a huge problem. Their deck's already very efficient with all the cards that they have, and so just being completely sped up around uh, is really not ideal in the slightest. Which I guess they don't really feel the same... About that. Papers, now faces. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, great maker. Genius in action. Safety is engaged. Problem with them having the extra mana, so they got to play a ballistic bot and a sentry, <laughs> and also have a removal spell for my victor all that same round. Oh 
Oh man, then, so then that spell doesn't even count towards the draggling. That's quite annoying. I mean, so I, I should have just passed on that round four, right? Like when it, when I played, whatever, whenever I, I let them try beam that, you know, I didn't keep an eye up and they had a try beam. That's just the difference in the game. hand though they had you know uh, double century <sighs> ggs i i am honestly shocked how little they care about this weirding stones their life total that is not under duress whatsoever how little they care about that weirding stones. Honestly, very surprised about that. Gotta be double stunned. Like to play Death Ray, but it's gotta be double stunned. Um. Don't know what they're up against. All right, well, today's not been our night. Tonight's been not been our night. We got some opponents running hot. I could, you know, like, people will just, like, look at the record here and just say, oh, man, we're, you know, you're just playing Karma decks, and then Karma's not any good. Look at these records. I honestly think our decks are good. I think our opponents are really running hot. Both of these opponents have the best things you can have. Like, this, this, is, this is ridiculous. I would, I would be willing to play that matchup quite a bit, honestly. Like, that, that was just an unreal hand. All right, Nightfall is a, a pretty high variant stack. When when Nightfall has a great hand, it's also kind of unbeatable. But they they can kind of break and have some you know like they have some weaker parts. But if they have it come together, it's a really strong deck. So we'll see what they got. My opening hand looks like I'm just going to be mulliganing everything. So they mulliganed everything as well. I would like our early removal with like our you know our thermogenic beams, mystic shots. Um, the MK. They forced us to choose death or the blade. That's what I wanted whenever I mulliganed. <laughs> we got our top end. So that's covered. Now we need our removal. No more hiding. I fight with my spirit, not my Rainbow Ellie, you haven't been helping me.
haven't been helping me out too much. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Would've been nice to hold that for a Diana, but we kind of have nothing else. Regen's not bad. Pill Cascade is a very common card for these decks. Once I set papers, now faces, our goals are greater than any violence. I really wish I could notify that. Obviously, don't like trading away my Eye of the Dragon there, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Finally, thank you, Death Ray. Need that. We've been uh, fortunate not to see any champion so far on their side. Life Steal would be like the best thing for me to hit. All right, Spell Shield. Possibly just get drained out from here. We'll have to see. Really hoping that Karma makes like health potion. That's kind of a pop, uh, common card for Karma to create. Health potion. No, we don't. We don't have any in the normal deck. isn't good. Just isn't good. I really need Victor Lifesteal. Challenger. 
Sculptor. That's not lifesteal. <laughs> well, they just hit, they just found another Doom Beast off of that Stalking Shadows. So I have to keep deny for that next Doom Beast. So that means I don't get to play Karma, which is what I'd want to do. So that means I have to play Sub Percival. I guess I could have relied on having that. Maybe I could have played the Karma. So we we know that they have the Doom Beast. They have Doom Beast Onlooker. And now that Victor Yeah, I can't I can't stay alive anymore. Hexcore for lifesteal does nothing. Because my victor has vulnerable. They just put the victor at the end. They just hit me with the other things first. It does, there's nothing I can do here. Like, lifesteal is too late. Weird that we're 0-3 and I don't even think our deck is bad. Just things happen. Again, yeah, we could change a follower, it doesn't do anything. There's there's no good options on changing a follower. That's just a matchup that you have to have your early removal. Like we just we had a terrible mulligan, right? Like our mulligan was um, four, five, six mana units and a four mana spell, and they're just a really aggressive deck where you have to have your cheap removal. We couldn't find any of our cheap removal after that really poor mulligan. I don't necessarily think our deck is that bad. I think our our mulligan was really bad and our our hand was really bad. But I know we're 0-3, but I, I I feel like our deck is good. Like, even just, like, playing these games, I felt, okay, this deck, I can see this. It's just our opponents have drawn a lot better than us. All right, we got to find removal. I'd much rather have those first three cards than these three cards. There we go. Mystic Shot, thank you. So I kept Nobify because of all of their bounce spells, right? Like their deck is um, all about like the the bounce spells to save their things and you know, even draw cards with the one drop. And so I like the uh, Nobify to uh, stop those.
Sorry, okay. Prediction. favorite play, but it's what we got. Kill that thing, can I? Spend seven mana, they bounce. I can't kill this thing. I guess we have to try. That's better for me than a bounce bell. I'll take that over a bounce spell. Give me grace enough to last. Shurima is send in sky, past and present. The order is given. It is gone. Arise. So I guess I have the too many Ionia cards in here. I'm really missing these MKs, right? Like the Ionia Victor list, we we drew MK a lot more. Am I not mulliganing enough? No, I mulliganed every I'm, I'm mulliganing everything all the time. We maybe need to go back to just playing three of these death rays. Like Mystic Shot. Yeah, it maybe that's the thing, is I I took out a death ray for a Mystic Shot. We saw like that game having the Mystic Shots, but you we kind of just need the MKs. Yeah, maybe maybe it is three thermo three death rays the way to go and not mystic shot. All right, let's change that. Okay, so obviously every single mulligan I've made has been really really poor from just like what's happened afterwards. Like even that time, I'd much rather have the cards I had first than the cards I had after. I'm not getting rewarded for any kind of decision I'm making, so I don't know. Okay, so we have Eye of the Dragon. We just can't get these death rays, can we? Because this list is not much different from the Ionia Victor list that I've had a whole lot of success with recently. It's not that much different. Like, we're, we are playing Karma instead of the five mana champions, and, you know, maybe that makes a big difference. But that list did have the three, you know, I was playing the three MK3s. I tried Mystic Shots in this, and maybe that's a, a big difference with not playing MK3. Okay, so I didn't I didn't play the ignition there because I wanted to see if maybe like if my opponent went like ravenous butcher on the Scourge keeper, then I could go like homecoming and put the ravenous butcher back into their hands. Now we kind of have the opportunity to either to save the ballistic bot with the twin disciplines or kill the merciless hunter. And I'm gonna be doing the plus. 
basically because this thing has vulnerable. Get up here. Come here. Come here. You girls need to stop causing trouble. Yeah, stop causing trouble. Sorry, these dogs are really acting up tonight. I'm sorry about it. It's probably bothering me more than it's bothering y'all. I'm going to save Deny. We have one in hand, but we're probably going to get really punished by this, right? We're probably going to really want Homecoming later and not Deny later. It doesn't seem like I can make a, a correct... Any, any move just doesn't work out. Oh, thanks, Nopify. You would have been nice to stop a Glimpse Beyond. Champion Spotlight Night. Karma Champion Spotlight Night. Alright, no black spear. Poro Cannon? That's a lot of damage. Maybe these one, one of these Thermal Giant Beams would have been a Mystic Shot that would have helped me a little bit. And hope this works. I hope they don't have deny. All right, disgruntled gruntel. Thanks for the donation, tank. Is it meme tier or is it ranked? Nightfall aggro and ranked. All right, cool. All right, down here after this. Thermogenic Beam is killing me. 
I can't ever play it. So everything is killing me. I, can't, I just can't possibly play Thermogenic Beam. Like if I wanted to keep, if I want to keep the like I don't die to uh, atrocity. I just can't play thermogenic beam, right? Because we have to keep four mana for deny for atrocity. And that's why it's, it's because of atrocity. Because they're never tap. They haven't been tapping under atrocity mana at all. Okay, now they're tapped under atrocity mana. However, this doesn't, you know, it doesn't, I don't have the mana to kill Nasus now, but at least do some damage to Nasus. Concurrent timelines. Peace begins within. Yeah, I, I would I would be very happy with more deck slots for sure. I'm certainly considering going the concurrent timelines before this. Uh, the Shadow Assassin. That, of course, gets the Ballistic Pot up to... So it's only plus two plus zero, so these... Okay, so that's good to know. It's like, it doesn't actually double augment. We don't get any of these play abilities, so it's just three, two is the biggest body. While I would get another Draggling, I kind of want to not press my luck and just pass right now before they play a bunch more stuff. I have blockers. Well, I guess the Eye of the Dragon is just going to turn into something else now because of the concurrent timelines. So I guess I should have played it last round because then it would have it would have stayed Eye of the Dragon last round. Because I had already played one follower, because concurrent timelines just does the one follower each round.
We don't get any summon abilities. We do get the last breaths. The Grenadier is the one that can block Fearsome. I guess, okay, I guess the Whimsy wasn't a creative card. I was, thinking, I was thinking that Whimsy was a creative card, but I guess not. They just have to have a lot of spells over there, because they're just not doing much much of else. Spells of anything. We need deep meditation, right? Like, that's our best draw. Um, the other... Remember, the other unit was growing. The other... The 4-3 would have killed the other unit as well. Or, like, the... The, the other the other thing wasn't just a 2-2. Two -two. Just one card left? Is it possible that's not Atrocity? No, this is just the best play. We just, we got help for Deep Meditation. I need, I need more cards. Concussive Palm's not bad. As far as cards go, that's not bad. I guess it's not great, though. I should have transmogulated and put this 3-2 into an 0-1. I should have just done that last round. Alright, so now we got blockers. And now we got cards. But I don't necessarily have a lot of mana. Renewal is slow. Syncopation is just so bad again with uh, level up karma because you know you can think, oh, we'll get we get switch, but it doesn't work um, because then they just swap back. Gosh, 
one mana short from what I need, right? I need homecoming mana and deny mana. I need both. If that card's gonna be atrocity. Right, so like if I if I go homecoming I, I lose if it's atrocity. They've been playing like it's atrocity the whole game. I knew I shouldn't have done it. It was it was really greedy, but of course at this point of the game we kind of have to be greedy, but they've been playing like they had atrocity the whole time. We have learned as much as we have suffered. I should just let it happen, I guess. I don't know. It's just frustration. So sometimes you have a plan and it just doesn't work out. It's a fine line between between winning and losing. We had the um Yeah, it's just not my night. So we have the Ionia version of this deck, right? The Ionia Victor control deck that we've played a few times that is that is really good, that I've done really well with. I'm nine and one on stream with that. I've also had it's like one of I I've played some gauntlets with it being one of the three decks and I haven't lost with it in a gauntlet either cause I I mean I only played one gauntlet to be fair but I didn't lose any games but anyway um and so that deck was really good and this is not much different of a deck really the the main difference is just playing Karma instead of the other champions but besides that it's kind of the same and then we just go zero and five kind of crazy just everything that can go wrong is go going wrong tonight. One of those, um, yeah, just kind of one one of those <laughs> one of those nights. You play against the aggro decks. We can't find the MKs. Like again, like that Thresh Nasus deck is a deck with a ton of small units. Can't find an MK to save our life, literally. And just yeah, doesn't work. All right, well. You know, some some days is like this, right? It's not you're not always going to have uh, great days in Legends of Runeterra. Like these games are, are so close, you're gonna have some 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 days where everything works out for you and you're winning a bunch, and other days like where nothing's working out for you and you're just losing a bunch. And that's that's this is not my first day to lose a lot. It won't be the last. It's just an, another rough day at the office today, but that's okay. We got one more uh, Karma deck we're gonna play uh, coming up next with Lux, and we'll see how that does, but. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, um, you know, thank you so much. First of all, you know, especially uh, these decks that aren't doing as well. I really appreciate y'all uh, still watching these videos. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoy the gameplay. Um, again, even though it didn't go my way, hopefully y'all did. Um, but uh, that's going to be it here for Karma Victor. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.